Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you how you can get simulations from Houdini to Blender. And usually there's a few ways you can do this. But today we're going to focus on the two main ways uh, you can use to get especially deforming geometry like uh, cloth or fluid simulations or maybe an RBD simulation. So first uh, let's get into the fluid tab because that's the most complicated one. Um, in terms of the size of the geometry. So let's, uh, I just made a very, very quick simulation. So uh, there it is, just a little splash. Um, and you have these two ways. You can use an Alembic cache or you can use a USD export. And the common way people use is uh, Alembics, but this uh, with this you will run into a problem, which is that the cache will get huge. So you can already see for this really small file, um, the Alembic is already double the size of the USD or almost double the size of the USD. So I suggest using a USD file and I'm going to show you how you can do that. So let's just delete the Alembic here. Uh, let's delete this one as well. So. Once you have your simulation all cached out, so let me show you, it's just a uh, water falling and splashing a bit. Then you put down an USD export node, place that, and then you go to export. Here you type your name, whatever you want. Let's say uh, fluid.usd, um, you select how many frames you want to export. So you can either just export one frame or you can export a frame range. So that's what we're going to do, one to 200, uh, 240. And that's it. You don't need to, uh, you don't need to worry about all of that stuff um, because USD can do way more than just the simple export and import. But we're not going to get into that today. So just use this tab, export it, and you're already done. So uh, one more thing, if you want to export fluids, I really, really suggest that um, in the surfacing of the fluid, uh, which is for me here, the particle fluid surface, you select convert to surface polygons instead of polygon soup, because if you select polygon soup, you'll run into some artifacts on the surface uh, when you import it in Blender. But surface polygons should work fine. Now let's close that and go to the simulation again. So we have this simulation, just ex exported it as USD. Just go to export, say the frame range and click save. Now let's hop into Blender. And once you're here, created your, uh, your scene, go to file, import and select universal scene description .usd. And once you're here, you can go to the folder you exported it to, which for me is here. And you select your file, click import. And there you have it. It's already <laughs> completely set up. You can play it. And as you can see, it's basically looking the same uh, as it has looked in Houdini which is perfectly, perfectly fine. Um, you will also see that Houdini, uh, that Blender already converted the scene to 24, uh, where is it here? 24 frames per second, as well as the frame range of the USD, which is quite handy. And now let me show you all the, the other ones as well. So, Again, let's hop into Houdini and let's go to here and let's check out the RBD. So here's the RBD simulation, just a simple RBD. We did exactly the same thing. Just type uh, the file name you want and the location you wanted to save it in, select the frame range and click save to disk, as well as a cloth simulation, which we have here. Just a super simple simulation. And 
exactly the same thing here. Just the same thing. Then let's close that. Up into Blender and Import. So let's go with this one. And as you can see, if we play it back, we have a cloth simulation. Exactly like we had it in Houdini. And the same thing uh, will work with the RBD as well. So we go to import universal scene description and RBD. And if we deselect the thing, go to textured view, you'll see it works quite nice. And that's it. I just wanted to quickly show you that in case you need uh, a simple way to get your simulations from Houdini to Blender. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.